Hallelujah. Your eyes of the understanding begin to open and you begin to see, your eyes are open to a new world, a new realm. And a world of delights. Amen. Hallelujah. And um, and his voice as the sound of many waters will describe that. That is, means many, many nations composed of many people. And in his right hand were seven stars. Hallelujah. Out of his right hand came out seven stars. And you see, the Bible exclaims, explains who the seven stars are. In verse 20, chapter Revelation chapter 1, verse 20, it says the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. Hallelujah. Now, what does God intend when he says the seven angels of the seven churches? Let us understand that that word angels actually means messengers. Messengers. These are actually the messengers of God, which in reality It are the messengers who are walking in light, who walk in truth. When you see seven in the Bible, you see just like the color of light passing through the, 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 the spectrum, you see it branches, it brings out seven new colors. You know it? Any color you see in this world today comes out of light. All the form and beauty you see in this natural world actually comes out from one color. It depends on how you view the, you know, the wavelength and all that that makes it look red or blue or you know violet or whatever. Amen. The seven angels do not act literally mean seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, it, 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 it could be multitudes that form that angel. Hallelujah. Let us understand that in the spirit world, that is in the spirit realm, in Christ. You see it, one million people, one billion people can work together as one because they all have the same voice, they all have the same insight, they all have the same revelation, they all have the same mind, hallelujah, they all have the same will, hallelujah. If you see one, you've seen the other one, if you see the other one, you've seen the other one, hallelujah. They are all one. You see, when you begin to awaken, you begin to realize there's only one angel. He can manifest in seven different ways. You begin to realize there's only one Son of God. You begin to realize there's only one being, which is this Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah. Even though there are multitudes members in it, but this, all of them form together to come one. Amen. So these seven angels are actually messengers. They are servants. Whenever angels appear in the Bible, they just appear to do the will of God and they are gone. You see it? This is the realm God is bringing us to where our meat is to do the will of God. Where we are converted into becoming servants of the Lord. If I appear right there wherever you are, whether in America or in Canada, you see or in Europe or in Africa or in Australia, if I appear where, where you are today, I appear in the name of the Lord. I appear as an angel to do the will of the Lord. You see it? Now, it is these same angels, messengers, that sound the trumpet. You see, unknown to many, Jesus himself acted as an angel, as, an, as a messenger of the gospel, as a messenger of God, sounding the trumpet. In this dark world, hallelujah. He was in the midst of this earth as a star of God, revealing the truth. Revealing the glory of God. Hallelujah. Testifying concerning the truth. He did not come to do his will. He did not come to, you know, to do his desire as a man, but that of God. If you saw Jesus, what you are seeing was simply the arm of the Lord. Amen. So the seven stars, which are actually part which 
actually form that body of the Alpha and the Omega refers to the messengers, the servants of God. See, that is another face. See, the, in the things of the Spirit, I could be a messenger today. I could sit as king. I could sit as God. You see it? I could sit as a star. I could be the bread of life. See it? I could be like a sword in the hand of the Lord. I could be a hailstone. You see it? I could be a sheep. I could be a tree. You see it? Some decide to be goats. Some decide to be serpents. You see, in the spirit realm, I could be many things. Hallelujah. So when he talks of the seven stars in the right hand of God, the right hand talks of the place of power, the place of pleasures, the place of delights. Hallelujah. This is where God is gathering his people back to. Hallelujah. So that we can be like the stars on, at the right hand of the Alpha and Omega. Amen. Hallelujah. Does it, isn't, it, isn't it the Lord who says that in, at the end of the age, when the Lord appears with his angel, he shall separate the sheep from the goat and shall put the sheep at the right hand side and the goats on the left. See, the sheep are those who have obeyed the gospel, those who have obediently laid down their lives, those who have heard the voice of their shepherd and they have followed their shepherd onto greener pastures. Those are the ones who find themselves on the right hand. You see, the right hand of power. You see that the Bible says that they shall do what? They shall shine like the sun. This is another account. It says they shall shine like the sun in the, in the kingdom of the Father. See it? These are the light of the world. Amen. So the seven stars on the right hand represent you see, the, the messengers of God. Those who have shed off their life to live on behalf of the truth. To testify concerning the truth. Hallelujah. The glitter in this dark world, revealing the truth of God. Messengers of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's go on. We're looking at the attributes here, the description of the Alpha and Omega in Revelation chapter 1. And it says that out of his mouth went a two edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun shining in his strength. Hallelujah. Out of the mouth of the Alpha and the Omega went for the sword, a two-edged sword. Hallelujah. This is a sword that goes forth <laughs> to divide asunder soul and spirit. It's a sword of the Lord that wars against those who rebel against the Lord. It is the sword of the Lord that wages war against death. It is the word of truth. Amen. And I can assure you no man can win against the Lord. So it's always good when you hear this message, when you hear the trumpet call, when you hear the voice of truth sounding, submit yourself to the truth. See it. Ask the Lord for grace. Ask the, God, the Lord to heal you. And remove rebellion from your heart. And submit to the will of God. So that you will see the good of the land. See, because many are those who will be slain by the sword of the Lord. You see, when you rebel against the Lord, you get slain. See, it? And some people might have to go through some kind of purifying process for years. Some people could go to that 10 years, 20 years, 30, 40, who knows? So it's always good to submit yourself to the Lord. You see, the sword of the Lord goes in and it discerns the intents of the heart of man. Nothing is hidden from the word of God. That is the, the life, the, the word, the living word of God. Nothing is hidden. It discerns the secrets of the heart of God, of men. And it comes forth to judge the earth. You see it? Isn't the world appointed to be judged by the Son of Man? The judgment of this world actually...